First on Fox, a follow-up to our exclusive report on the jungle of weeds overtaking parking lots at the Dome at America Center. The lots are needed for a national high school marching band competition in just two days. Fox News' Andy Banker shows us a transformation is now underway. The effort started small, about six weed trimmers and a push mower attacking four square blocks of banned parking lots covered with weeds up to seven feet tall. It's enormously important to bands that they have an area to stage. They have a lot of motor coaches coming in from all over the Midwest. Explore St. Louis, which operates the dome, is prepping it inside as well as out for the Bands of America Super Regional Championship. High school marching bands from 10 states plus fans and family, about 16,000 people total, are expected Friday and Saturday bringing an estimated $6 million in direct spending to St. Louis. When we alerted Alderman James Page about the weeds, he called in more help. A contractor with a tractor and brush mower plus an extra riding mower. When I learned about the conditions, I came out yesterday, did a complete photo analysis, and uh, started making some phone calls. It's just a matter of bringing the right resources to bear on whatever challenge or opportunity we face, and look today, 24 hours, totally different. And once all these weeds are all gone, another issue will remain. All of the trash that's been hidden in those weeds for so long. Someone's going to have to pick all that up too. Record show developer Paul McKee owns the lots. He says they are leased to the dome for parking and upkeep. Explore St. Louis denies that. Volunteer St. Louis area band parents, past and present, are planning a trash pickup. Explore St. Louis welcomes the help, but doesn't need it. What I appreciate is their civic pride. We share that in common. It is great that they care, and I just want to reassure them and let them know that we care too, and we're going to make sure that it's ready. The bands and their buses start arriving Friday morning. Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.